Hey, IDS 301, welcome to module four. Um, I am uh, freezing up in northern Arizona, but the light out here, and there was uh, too many people inside the Starbucks. So here I am freezing. I want to get started on this, uh, even as I'm uploading the video for 302. All right, 301, let's do this. Um, going over your, let's see, should we talk about the Petri article uh, and the feedback? You said I got a lot of papers I got to score and look at, but uh, overall, you remember what the if you got if you got the elements of a cognitive map wrong, uh, double check it. It's page 35 of the Petri reading. It's important because it's uh, it's what you should be working on now is your maps assignment. So you got to know what some of those aspects are, right? The, the elements. Um, tacit is, uh, you know, it's understood or implied without being stated. And, uh, you know, I, obviously there was, there's a wider range of areas to do that, but these are some of the areas that, um, some people may have struggled. Uh, the non-epistemological considerations were dominant ideas, psychological characteristics and the institutional settings. All right. So let's, um, I've got so much here with, uh, with this. Wow. Um, sorry, I had so many notes. I thought I had trimmed them down. I guess I didn't. Sorry about that. Uh, okay. So, oh, by the way, the plan of study, uh, your feedback should be on an attachment in the comments feedback section. If you did not see the rubric highlighted at the bottom, let me know, okay? I want to know if you're seeing the highlights. So if you want to tell me, I mean, it's not the end of the world. If you want to send it to me with the Easter eggs, I don't care. But I'd like to know if you saw where I scored the rubric, all right? Because um, I'm going to have to do something different. I'm going to, I'll figure it out, but I think it's difficult. It's not translating or something, but we'll work on that. Um, plan of studies were really good, I thought, uh, overall. I know there's been a lot of work going on in this course. Honestly, I do know that. But you know what? From what my, the feedback I'm getting in your papers and, and discussions, I think you're learning something. Holy cow. I know I am. Okay. So, yeah, the Do You See What I See? It's a great article. It's from 1976. I mean, I was, grad, well, I was barely graduating from high school. Uh, but you can see how it does hold up here uh, 44 years later in terms of uh, the interdisciplinary ideas in there and, and the need for it and what it means, even in a society that has changed so much since 76. All right. I know a couple of people in the class remember 76. Okay. All right. Um, let's see here. Okay. So I think inside, he does, he does a lot of, I'm not going to go over it too much because again, this course moves so fast, and I'm introducing you to so much material. Save it, though. I mean, you know, export that as a PDF and keep it and look back on it when you need to sell that IDS uh, uh, skill set that you have. You know, look at some of those things to remind you, okay? Uh, let's see. All right. Um, all right. So getting into the module. Uh, four, the overview is long and self-explanatory. Thank you to my colleague who does a fabulous job of uh, uh, doing that. I'm going to, let me pull the, uh, let me pull this module up here. Module four, overview. Yeah, I mean, I don't need to read this to you. You can look at it. Learning objectives, the module actions. Let's go to the next page. I'm trying to look at my notes and going back and forth. All right. Um, okay. So that's my video. All right. Okay. T Tanner, chapter six, seven, and eight. Great chapters. Not that much. Trust me. Okay. It's like 30 pages at that. All right. Yeah. It's like 30 pages and it's easy reading. All right. Supplemental materials. This is where, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to give you that chance. You're, you're learning so much in this course that you might want to learn more. Okay. The new all papers uh, is 20, 25 pages. That may be much, but at least skim these things. Okay. At least scan them. Look for the important stuff. The Klein uh, Julian, uh, Julie Thompson Klein is eight pages. And then I'm just showing you Repco's broad model, Newell's seven steps to integration, Newell's integrative process expanded, Klein's integrative core, and then the core, same integrative core expanded and detailed. And then finally the Tanner model. Okay. It's not, um, you know, it just gives you some idea how similar they are, but you know, how we break things down. 
so let's go with Easter egg number one right now and let's call it methods of integration. Okay, methods of integration. I'm trying to speak clearly so everybody gets it because I know I can mumble. <laughs> um, all right. So let's get into discussion board number four is next. Uh, 4.1, that is. That's the one that will require uh, responses. I do count the words. <laughs> okay, uh, networks, gorgeous networks. Check out that link, phenomenal. I think it really helps to visualize uh, certain knowledge, okay? It looks like uh, that's going to work. 4.2 is the North Dakota uh, Norway experiment. I found this, <laughs> and uh, I thought it was really a Appropriate. I found this a year or so ago. Appropriate to um, our interdisciplinary studies, and um, you know how these things get applied. How we can see things a little differently. How we can use uh, what we learn from other places. All right. Then there's a quiz. Uh, you you know the drill, right? And then we've got the maps assignment. Double check that. My God, this thing goes forever. All right. There's a rubric there. Look at it. All right. I know I will. Okay, it's due February 17th. I made it the 17th before you get the 16th. That's a Monday, I believe, right? Wow, that's weird. Okay, let's leave it at that, though, all right? Um, it says available to 27th. That's not true. I'm changing that right now. Uh, okay, let's see. So we'll make it February 17th. That's a Monday. I'll leave it at that. And then I'm changing this to the 22nd because five days late. You can't do anything after that anyway, so let's just change that. I just did it. Okay, and if you have any questions on your maps, let me know, okay? Let me know. I'll spin your wheels. And then you got your reflection, and I think that's it, isn't it? Holy cow, that's it already. All right, so what else did I want to say about? Let's do uh, Easter egg number two, and let's say gorgeous networks. Because I want you to see those gorgeous networks and go down there and, and, and watch the 12 minute video, look at the page, okay? And then you do the posts. And you know, I hate to, I'm not, I don't hate to say this, but on the, the Petri article on any of the discussion board, I can tell when you didn't read it or you gave up because you didn't get to the good stuff at the bottom that would give you the answer to number seven. So just, just try to do it, okay? It's important work and you're here to learn it, right? All right, there's the quiz. I think that's due on the. Uh, Ninth, wait a second. Did I say okay? Wait a second. So, maps is due the 17th, and today's the third. I had to double check that. Am I doing the right module here, you guys? Okay, module four. Hmm. Due on the 17th. Okay, I think that's fine. Uh, because it is a it, it is a it is a uh, paper that we used to do in three parts over three weeks three modules so that's why I'm a little bit confused we haven't done it that way okay so the maps again is important because it's it, it, it breaks down your disciplines your concentrations in ways that you can see um, contrast comparisons things that are similar things that are dissimilar all right um, so let's go with Easter egg number three let's call it Norway experiment. You got that one, Easter egg number three, Norway experiment. Um, I'm freezing. I'm going to go. Uh, this is less than nine minutes. So have a good week. Let me know if you got any questions, comments, or concerns. All right. I do not preview work. You know, so don't send me your work and, and tell me to look at it before you submit it. I can't do that to everybody, so I won't do it to anybody. Um, but ask me the questions, okay? And uh, you're fine. All right. So, forks up. Peace. Talk to you soon.